What's up, YouTube Nation? We're back, and I've got some awesome, awesome information to share with you. Just got back from the Grizzly Jig Show. Had a great time meeting everybody. It was fantastic, guys. I really do appreciate, uh, especially those, you know, when you come up and you talk about how you appreciate the videos over the years, that to me absolutely means the world to me. Uh, and so I so appreciate everybody there. And uh, we had a great time talking crappie, having fun. Hopefully you guys saw some of the videos. But I wanted to start this episode off real quick. Um, we're gonna put a ton of fish in the boat, I can't wait. Um, to share some really cool news that just came out. And this is gonna be new and exciting new braid from Sniping Braid. So we're gonna talk about it throughout this episode, putting fish in the boat, actually using the new braid. But they are really focusing in on the 10 pound uh, crappie specialty braids, okay? We all know Optimal, I absolutely love this. I fish with this every single day on my uh, guide trips. Four strand, 0 0.10, incredible. Well, they just introduced that same diameter, a 0 0.10 and an eight strand, extra tensile strength, extra knot strength, um, and it has a new HD fiber that is quality is through the rough. So we're gonna be fishing with the new Comet. It's called Comet. It is available in pro spools as well, right there, check it out. So 500 yards, 125 yards. I was using this for about a month and I absolutely loved it. So this is the, the new introduction for the 10 pounds. Now they also have, of course, the Optimize. This is a 0.12 H strand. And this stuff is fantastic too. So they're looking at it and marketing is as a, hey, if you're a caster, this is your casting braid. Optimal is 100% the smoothest braid you're gonna ever experience. If you think you're gonna do some jigging, check out the Comet. Comet is incredible. You wanna step it up a notch, you go to the Optimize. And all of this is spelled out. I'll show you the graphic on the, uh, on the uh, computer right there so you guys can look at it. But check out those three. There'll be combos that'll include all three tens. And that is definitely a focus where, you know, all tens are not created equal. It can have specialties that are created for your type of fishing. And that's what makes it awesome. So let's put some fish in the boat. So yeah, the, the show was awesome. I really appreciate everybody coming out and talking crappie. That's, in, that's it for us in terms of shows this year. Um, our next event here coming up in a couple weeks, two to three weeks, we're going to be at Darbone. You'll be seeing a lot of content on Darbone, and I can't wait. Hopefully, I'm crossing my fingers. So if you guys remember back in the OG days, uh, we had all that ice having to break out of our own home lake to get to Darbone. Well, I'm hoping that this year that won't be the case. And uh, it looks like the temperatures are setting up to be pretty darn nice, which would be really fantastic. So uh, we're looking forward to that. That's where we're headed to. Uh, here in the short couple weeks and I can't wait to bring you the content That's what we try to do bring the content to you from all these fun lakes and how we break down the lake So let's go ahead and get some fish in the boat. We haven't been on the water here for about three days uh, So we are gonna probably have to do a little searching, but I'll let you know how that goes uh, All right guys the hammers ten sails have been through the roof and uh, we're gonna go ahead and start off with this rod These are loaded up with the new Comet from Sniping Braid same high-vis color just a new higher quality even fi fiber, which I'm excited about retrying. Wow, look at that. Now the beauty of this braid is that, oh my gosh, that's smooth. That's crazy. Is that it is the same diameter, but beefed up with that four strand technology, man. So um, I'm expecting big things out of this and we'll see if it becomes my daily Oh man. Oh, 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 baby, we got one off the dirt. Feels like a good fish. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Slab, baby. Good fish. There we go, guys. First official f fish on the Comet sniping braid right there. Good slab. Good slab, good night. We're gonna keep that one for pictures. Now what I did was I took off that split shot and I have to make it go really slow. So I have cast it here probably about five or six times. And by the way, the casting of this braid is incredible. I'm very impressed. Um, and so it's not necessarily an easy bite. They definitely want it a little bit slower. 
And so that's what I'm giving it to him. I'm get, taking off the split shot. And, and just rolling it down there at the bottom near the dirt. And that guy came straight out of the dirt. Boom. Oh, so. Good fish right here, guys. That's friggin' awesome. Now, I did change up the colors. You guys can check out that hair jig there, but great fish right there. That's fantastic. Right off of school, you can see that school right there? Bam. Big school coming in here. We're gonna stay back as far as we can. Boom, there we go. Good fish here, good school here too, man. This is a big fish. This is a big fish. That's a tournament fish, boys and girls, right there. Mmm, that was a heavy fish. There we go. Another dandy, guys. Great fish coming out of the lake right now. Unbelievable. Check that out, guys. Fantastic eating size here. Now, that's definitely not our biggest fish of the day, but I can tell you that's, that's a solid eater. We're gonna let that one go. So, you know, I'll tell you what. This might become my go-to braid, the Comet. It definitely adds additional strength. Um, I can feel the solidness of the line, which is fantastic, but still at that super micro uh, size at 0.10. So guys, check it out. I'm very impressed. Um, right now, pretty much just um, really just taking that bait really slow over those schools because of how finicky they are. I have had to, like I said, take off the split shot to slow it down, and that definitely has helped. Um, but it's a it's more finicky bite but dang the, the fish are good size here i got some good ones in the bucket right now we'll we'll take a picture here at the end but yeah let's go back at it um but definitely the schools seem to be more active than the ones in the mud and um so we're gonna keep throwing out of the dirt see you guys obviously it just does not i mean obviously catching fish tying it straight to the jig it's not a factor not when you've got visibility of at least uh, less than four feet um, up to four feet that's a solid fish um, so that's i use the the, the the rule of four foot it's kind of like my like my starting point um, rarely do i fish anything with clarity more than that but if you do that's when you might want to consider uh, you know coloring your line or using a leader however you want to do it um, but I can tell you that go with satisfaction. I mean, the satisfaction of using a small braid, I believe, allows you to tie it straight to the jig with confidence. Uh, a lot of these other, you know, what I've noticed, a lot of these other braid companies will use a much wider diameter to give you additional strength, and that's great. But at the same time, it's not necessarily what you need. So we always say, you know, fish with what you need, not with what you don't. Uh, and I mean, why, why have a braid that is super wide uh, when you don't need it? Um, and it gives you the ability, when you go with these smaller diameters, to tie straight to the jig, um, which A, saves you time, hassle, just about everything, right? Now, granted, if you feel there's ever a need, you need to do it. You gotta do whatever's gonna put fish in the boat. Very important. Um, but I tell you. I use the, the rule of four foot, um, and that's that's my guide as to whether or not I need to be thinking in that direction. We're about to catch another one here. Boom, I missed him, dang it. There we go. Now what we've done, I'll show you what we've done here. That's yeah, a good fish. 
um, is we actually put our anchors down. And these guys are pretty much fish in the mud. Um, but they seem to be a little bit more active. Now that could be time of day type situation. But these guys seem to be, once they settle down once you're in here and you're locked in, you're kind of like a just cover for them. Um, they seem to settle down and they seem to get a little bit more active. See how they're getting even closer to the boat now? They're comfortable with me being here. I do turn off my trolling motor 100%, uh, so I can't accidentally put the props on. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. Come on now. That has got to be a good fish. Boy, it feels good. Oh, that slab. Slab. Oh, man. <laughs> Check them out. This is the one we just caught here. There's that pig from earlier. We got another one in there that's probably almost the same size as this guy right here, but that guy's a solid one. That guy, we're gonna let that guy go. We're gonna still take maybe a picture with this guy. But let me tell you guys, check out that new uh, Comet from Sniping Braid. It's freaking awesome. What a great, what a great day on the water. A great morning. Water temperature sitting right there in the high 30s. And uh, I'm very impressed by this Comet. I almost, honestly, it's probably going to end up being my go-to just because of the extra strength. I can feel the the quality and the fibers. I really can. The casting is unbelievable. There'll be more details um, on all that. You can check them out at 3poundfishing.com or at Sniping Braid. Uh, you can get those pro spools and all that great stuff. But check it out. These are the products that are getting the fish in the boat in. I think you guys are going to be ecstatic with it. So um, appreciate you guys watching. And uh, let's, let's continue this thing, man. We're growing. Please subscribe. Take it easy, guys.